Okay, so it officially, uh, well, it's about quarter to two in the morning on, is it officially Saturday? Yes. Okay, it's officially Saturday now. And the Harry Potter book came out at midnight, and I had it earlier, and I finished it, actually. I finished it this morning at 8.30, and it took me about 14 hours. And I had it finished for over 12 hours before everybody else even had a chance to see it. And, yeah. So, book done. So, while everyone was at the Harry Potter parties all around the world, trying to get their hands on their book for the first time so that they could read and find out what happens, you know, me and my mom were doing the same thing, only we just needed the audio CDs. Because we like to listen to them. Jim Dale performs them for us. Fantastic, by the way. And... See that? There's about 17 CDs. Oops. Yeah. How long is it? Does it say how long it takes to listen to it? It should be on the back of the box. If we were in Canada, it would have cost us $99.95. And we're not. And in the U.S., it was $79.95. Only we paid about... 50 ish which is not bad. So, we actually had to drive all around town. We had to not only drive around all of Scranton and Moscow finding it, to find it, because no place had it. We had to go down to Wilkes-Barre, which is about half an hour away from us. After all the driving we did, finally found it, because I 411 uh, Walden Books in the mall, and they had it, and they had it when we got it there, and we got it home. But... We tried stopping at Price Shopper, they only had the book. We went to Kmart, and they only had the book. We had went to Walmart, where we originally started buying the CDs from. They didn't have them. They only had the book. We were devastated. Very, very devastated. Um, but we didn't really miss out on too much. We went to Borders to try to see if just see if they had it. So we thought maybe they didn't make them yet. Sure enough, they did. We couldn't even get to the door because it was that crowded. It was ridiculous. And on top of that, there was all the people there. It was crazy. People are crazy. But if we didn't wait, we wouldn't have got our poster. Oh no, it's hard to see it. I don't know if that works. Okay, so hopefully that just worked. I can't really see what it's in front of my face. But yeah, we got a size of poster. And I think it is the biggest poster that I own. And I know exactly what it's a picture of, but I can't tell anybody. It's a secret. Unless you read the book. And where's my pillow? I brought down my pillow. I don't know, where'd you put my pillow? My Harry Potter pillow. Because we're getting ready to read the book listen to the book. And since I read it, I can take a nap for it. The parts that I don't really try this. But I love the whole book, so I stay awake. Anyway, last but not least, I also came prepared. I brought my wand from my Vance. I got it, I won it actually, when we went to the Harry Potter party at Borders for the fifth book. I was in a contest, and they asked you lots and lots of trivia questions about Harry Potter, and I aced it pretty much, except, I can't remember what question I lost to, I think it was, um, how many years, what was the annual years of the Quidditch World Cup or something, something with the, with the World Cup, and it was year, it was number, and I'm not really that good with numbers sometimes, so the number escaped me, so I lost it, and, um, but I got really, really far, and technically, I was in a different age group. I was in, like, a something of 12, and I was, like, 14 or something, but I was short enough, so it worked. Um, but anyway, the guy, it, it was actually an accident, but um, the guy felt bad because I got so far and got nothing out in, in the end that he gave me his own wand. But it's perfect for me, and... It's nicer than the one, the late one. It was better than the one the lady wanted. The lady won Harry Potter's actual wand. It was actually, I can't remember, it was maple and all that good stuff. Oh no, mine is maple. I'm sorry. Mine, solid walnut and maple. That. 
It is walnut and maple, 12 and 3 quarters. So, that's my wand, and I'm keeping it out just through the story because things have been going crazy today. For instance, this morning, well, it was actually this afternoon after I woke up from my nap, it was really, really bright outside, and it was nice and blue with the light clouds, and it was all pretty, and then out of nowhere, it got extremely windy, and then these big dark clouds came in. I got scared. I thought the Dementors were coming for me. So since I got scared, I decided I'm going to keep my wand around me, just in case, because you never know. And when we left to go and get our Harry Potter books, well, CDs, I should say, um... It was actually the clearest night I think we've had in the last month. It was very, very clear. You could see every star in the sky, every constellation. It was really, really pretty. If cameras worked the way they should, I would have taken a picture. Well, but, you look, you could afford them. yeah. You Jeremiah's camera. If I had Jeremiah's camera. But, anyway, my mom looks just about set up, so I'm going to take my wand. And I'm going to take my pillow, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to lay down and get comfy and listen to Jim Dale. And I guess that's all i got to say for now. So to all you out there reading the Harry Potter book right now, congratulations, you made it to midnight. And to everybody else, if you haven't read any of the Harry Potter books, you should start at the beginning. Definitely at the beginning. Completely worth it. Seventh book was by far my favorite. The fifth one was my favorite. Moved to the seventh one. So, but can't tell any secrets. So I'm out. <laughs>